when shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hell barely done, when the battle's lost and won. That will be ere the set of sun. Where the place? Upon the heath. There to meet with Macbeth. Fair is foul. Foul is fair. Hover through the fog and the air. Yeah. <laughs> What bloody soul is that? She can report, as seemeth by her plight of the revolt, the newest state. This is the sergeant, who like a good and hardy soldier fought against my captivity. Hail, brave friend! Say to the king, the knowledge of the broil is that it's leaving. Doubtful it stood, as two spent swimmers that do cling together and choke their art. The merciless MacDonwald of the Western Isles of Kerns and Galloglasses is supplied. And fortune on his damned coral smiling showed like the rebel's whore. But all's too weak for brave Macbeth. <laughs> well, he deserves that name. Disdaining fortune with his brandished steel, which smoked with the bloody execution, like Valor's minion, carved his passage out till he faced the rebel, which ne'er shook hands with him, nor bade farewell till he'd unseamed him from the nave to the chaps, and fixed his head upon our battlements. <laughs> <laughs> oh, valiant cousin, worthy gentleman. <laughs> Mark, King of Scotland, Mark. No sooner justice had with valor armed compelled these skipping kerns to trust their heels, but the Norwegian lord, surveying vantage, with fresh supplies of men, begins a fresh assault. Dismayed not this our captains, Macbeth and Banquo. <laughs> yes, as sparrows, eagles, or the hare, the lion. If I say sooth, I must report they were as cannons overcharged with double cracks, so they doubly redoubled strokes upon the foe. Who comes here? The worthy Thane of Ross. God save the king. Whence camest thou? From fight, worthy Thane. great king, where the Norwegian banners flout the sky and fan our people cold. Norway himself, with terrible numbers, assisted by that most disloyal traitor, the Thane of Tardor, began a dismal conflict, till that Bellona's bridegroom, brave Macbeth, confronted him with self-comparisons, point against point rebellious, arm against arm, curbing his lavish spirit, and to conclude, the victory fell on us. Oh. <laughs> Great happiness! No more that Thane of Sador shall deceive our bosom interest. Go, pronounce his present death, and with his former title, greet Macbeth. I'll see it done. What he hath lost, the noble Macbeth hath won. <laughs> <laughs>